Ashes of Creation throughout the years, beginning its development on Unreal Engine 4, always had a high standard when it came to visuals. And the game itself has gone through many phases graphically throughout its development. Starting out with the OG Ashes we saw almost 8 years ago, Intrepid originally was using store-bought assets for graphics. Eventually they decided they wanted to move out of those store-bought graphics and begin to create what you saw leading up to Alpha 1, with a world truly built by Intrepid. Alpha 1 in my opinion looked gorgeous, even if it was a bit unpolished, and this was almost 2 years ago. And then from here the game got a major upgrade to Unreal Engine 5 for Alpha 2 and beyond, an engine that has the ability to make extremely realistic details to any game developed on it if done right. And due to this, a lot of people seem to think that Ashes of Creation looks very dated with its graphics and not something that is developed on this extremely high-tech engine. So why is that? Well first, channel member shout out. Now I may be the minority on this, or it could just be those old man eyes that I've developed over the last few years, but I really don't think these graphics look that bad from what Intrepid has shown. The world looks pretty gorgeous to me, and the graphics look pretty modern. They may not be the best high-end graphics the gaming genre has ever seen, and they are a bit inconsistent at times between live streams, which we'll talk about a bit more in a minute, but they are still very far from the worst, yet people still keep jumping into the comments to tell me the game looks like it's straight out of 2010. I believe this is because of several reasons. First being, while well, the game started development on Unreal Engine 4, and a lot of textures and systems were originally designed for UE4 in mind, and while they are going back through and updating a lot of the older stuff, that takes a lot of time from the art team and something you aren't going to notice all at once. But as you can see through these showcases, the items in armor and creatures they design have immense detail that doesn't always translate well into what they're showing us in the game currently, which we will hopefully see turn up down the road. Take the Cursed Charger for example. Here is an Alpha 1 Unreal Engine 4 model, and here is the updated textures on Unreal Engine 5. And as we get further into development, I imagine you'll see a lot more like this with things constantly being updated as they go. The second reason being the game is in an alpha state and has not been fully optimized yet. And that doesn't mean just the graphics, that means every system in the game is not in its polished state at this point, so at times Intrepid may be turning down the graphics to give you a better look at the showcase, because until these systems and gameplay are fully optimized, you could be rocking out max graphics at 30 frames a second at times, when Intrepid would much rather drop the graphics a bit and show you a smoother gameplay until they are in a position to bump things up. This could also potentially explain why there is a lot of inconsistency in the graphics as well, because some areas are more polished than others, which result in different quality levels in the showcase. As for this past month where the graphic models seemed to glitch out and look like they were pulled straight out of RuneScape, well Steven addressed this over on Discord stating that this was a level of detail bug that popped up in the build, something that will be fixed before you're actually playing the game. But there is some good news on the graphical front because it seems to be a concern with a lot of people in the community right now, regardless of my old man eyes thinking everything looks great. But Vaknar headed over to the forums once again, responding to a post of similar concern that stated, do you think the graphic style needs a bit of an update? Compared to many Asian MMORPGs in development, the game lacks detailed monsters, the armors are not defined enough, and the environments still look very flat and not detailed enough. There is also no ambient stuff like flies, birds, snow, and dust flying around when you move, etc. Games like New World and Chrono Odyssey are much more detailed. New World has some beautiful environmental graphics. To which Vecna replied, As some have pointed out here, the game is very much still a work in progress, and has not had any polishing done to the final appearance, especially with some of the aspects you mentioned. With that said, we still appreciate the feedback, and we are working very hard to make the best game we possibly can. It is hard to remember that Ashes of Creation is in fact in a lot earlier state of development than players are used to when they finally see gameplay. And what they see is normally polished or sometimes over polished gameplay that is a lot closer to what you see come launch. While the live stream that we get with Ashes of Creation is more raw, unedited, unpolished gameplay, taking you through different parts of the development process with Intrepid Studios. So those concerned about graphics sit tight and if we head towards the end of Alpha 2 and they still look as they do, well then at that point it may be something for you to be concerned about. But in until then, let's wait and see what Intrepid can do. Also, shout out to Vaknar, who is all over these forum posts replying to people's concerns. This man is an absolute champ. I agree it can set people back when you're looking at the Unreal Engine 5 videos out there and then look at Ashes of Creation and you wonder why they don't look close to the same. So hopefully this video helps out a bit, but also keep in mind that 
that Unreal originally wasn't designed for massive large-scale multiplayer games, especially with UE4, and while Unreal 5 has added a lot more support for this, the engine will shine the most when it comes to single-player games as solo games don't have to think about as much optimization compared to MMOs when there are hundreds of players on the screen at the same time. If you've made it this far into the video, well then I assume you are enjoying this content, so please help the channel out by clicking that subscribe button and hitting that thumbs up so we can help the channel grow as we head closer to Alpha 2. Also comment down below if you feel Ashes of Creation's graphics look outdated. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.